Jim, there's a, a grocery store chain named Save-A-Lot that's based in St. Louis. It once was an innovator and a fast grower. I mean, it was founded in Cahokia um, and was really a pioneer in that hard discount space where limited assortment of goods, very low prices. Um, but they're, they've uh, kind of fallen on hard times. They're struggling. Now, now they're for sale, but they're, they're, they're bogged down by more than $700 million in debt. So it's, you know, it, it's kind of hard to, hard to see what, you know, what would appeal to a buyer. Well, I don't know, $700 million in debt is not going to appeal to a buyer. Right. The problem is, one of the problems is they were taken over by private equity, which loaded them up with debt. Yeah, yeah. This is a company that faces stiff competition from places like Aldi's. Right. You have to invest in improving your improving your operation and when you're when you're just struggling to make the debt payments uh -huh. you know all that investments goes out the door I, I think this is an argument against private equity perhaps but I think save a lot's uh, problems predated the private equity deal which happened in 2016 uh, they were owned by super value which you know a big uh, yeah. grocery chain based in Minneapolis for for uh, a long time and they in, initially grew for, for 20 years or so they grew yeah. un, under super values ownership but the last uh, five years or so, they, they seem to lose focus, uh, had not invested in the stores. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, I think the, uh, the buyer, and what, what their main competitor yeah. is Aldi, which has been sure. expanding like crazy and, yeah. and remodeling its, its stores. So they're, they're more appealing, brighter, wider aisles, all of this. Uh, they, you know, they, they, they don't look down scale uh, and, and shop and save stores so the, still do. So, so the reason that Aldi's is so successful in yeah. shop and save for in recent years has been going downhill right. is really a mat matter of management, you think? Oh, I think uh, so. Yeah. Uh, and, but interestingly, I mean, the private equity buyers did do some things right. They brought in a new management team, invested in systems. One, one employee told me they invested a lot in new systems and yeah. so on, uh, but they haven't done much to the stores. They did design a new logo, which sure. is, you know, kind of cosmetic. They, they but, didn't uh, do much to the stores because so they were so loaded up with debt. Yeah, this company yeah. is rated CAA, which is yeah. basically the brink of... Oh, and the debt, I checked the, uh, yeah. the markets. The debt is trading for around, you know, between 50 and 60 cents on the dollar. So yeah. that tells you uh, it's not worth anywhere near the 1.4 billion that this uh, private equity firm so, paid. So, so this is a company that might benefit by going through a bankruptcy reorganization. Get that debt down, get yeah. new owners in, get the ability to invest, get, get the ability to uh, improve your stores and compete with all these. I, I think that's a distinct possibility. I mean, they're, they're the Onyx, which is the, the private equity owner, they're not talking about that, but they have, yeah. they have put it up for sale. And I, I I don't mind at all a little schadenfreude in seeing some of these private equity big wigs just lose it all. No, that's right. It was you know, way over enthusiasm about you know a, a sector that's appealing because sure. Aldi and others in that sure. space are, are, are expanding, but uh, you, you've, you've got to have the right stores and the right strategy.